Good morning, my fellow men who are walking a spiritual journey to ascend and become souls of light and love, to stop looking and lusting after desires of your flesh, guys. Well, good morning. It is today. It is Wednesday, January 17th. 2024 and the year sure is going by quickly isn't it here it is 17 days into 2024 but guys i want to share something with you this morning and if you have recently relapsed or you stumbled on your journey you peaked at instagram you lusted maybe you released or you had whatever you did and you released, guys, and you're feeling bad about it because you've been convicted of what is right and wrong, and so your spirit knows what is dark and what is light, and it knows that the lust, the selfish desire of your flesh to have sex or look at Instagram or whatever websites you're looking at or pictures or images or videos. You have been convicted in your spirit. You know that is wrong. It's against God's law if you have been convicted and if you know God's law. However, we're not condemned by the law. We're actually saved through his son, Jesus, who paid the price for us, guys. But your spirit who loves the law and loves God wants to do what's right. So when you release or you lust, you are convicted and you want to become that soul of light, which doesn't lust. It's disciplined. It's not a slave to lust. It's not thinking about it. It's not giving its energy to lust. So guys, Revelation chapter 21 verse 5 says, Behold, I am making all things new. So guys, if you indeed stumbled, it's okay because God makes all things new. I'm going to read my daily commentary here from my book I have. It's a daily devotional called 100 Prayers of Encouragement. I'll put the ISBN <clears throat> number in the description because I can't find any information on this book on the internet. I'm not sure where I got it. Oh, my mom gave it to me, but years ago. But guys... It's really quick. It just says, Each new day offers countless opportunities to serve God, to seek His will and obey His teachings. But each day also offers countless opportunities to stray from God's commandments and to wander far from His path. Sometimes we wander aimlessly in a wilderness of our own making, but God has better plans for us. And whenever we ask Him to renew our strength and guide our steps, He does so. Consider this day a new beginning. Consider it a fresh start. A renewed opportunity to serve your creator with willing hands and a loving heart. Ask God to renew your sense of purpose as he guides your steps. Today is a glorious opportunity to serve God. Seize that opportunity while you can. Tomorrow may indeed be too late. Guys, Ephesians chapter 4 verse 23 to 24 says, You are being renewed in the spirit of your minds. You put on the new man, the one created according to God's likeness, 
in righteousness and purity of the truth. Guys, that is a great verse. Through our Lord Jesus and through our spiritual journey to become like God. Not powerful like him, but in his personality, his righteousness, his purity, his love, everything that's good, the characteristics of God. We cannot ever be God, but we can be like him, like his characteristics of love and righteousness. So, when you are on this journey, you are renewing your mind. You're, th you're going to think different now, guys. So let's end with this prayer that's in this daily devotional. And it says, O oh Lord, my creator, conform me to your image. Create in me a clean heart, a new heart that reflects your love for me. When I need to change, change me, Lord, and make me new. Amen. Guys, be new today in our Lord. It's a new day, new beginnings. It's a new start. Have a great day, guys. We'll talk to you soon.